Layer Sitter was created to make parenting easier and to save you tons of time. We do this in two ways. First, with the Parent Selected Layers button, and second, with the Quick Parents menu. Let's start by parenting all of our squares to our circle the old way. Now let's say we want our circle to be parented to our main null, but we're working quickly and just click and drag to select all the layers. Click the Parent Selected Layers button and you'll see a pop-up with a list of layers and a few options on the side. We'll get to those in a bit. For now, select our global null. You'll see right away that we cannot parent to our selected layers, the circle and the squares, since we cannot parent layers to themselves. Select the global null layer and hit OK. You'll notice the squares, even though they were selected, were not parented to the null, only the circle was. This is because Layer Sitter knew they were already parented. Any time you use Layer Sitter, existing parenting will not be affected. Sure, with just a few layers it really isn't all that impressive, but imagine a hundred parented layers for a character rig. It's an amazing time saver. Let's dive into a few more features in the Parent Selected Layers pop-up. Select any layer and click the Parent Selected Layers button. You'll see we can filter the list by Enabled, that's the eyeball icon in your timeline, Soloed, Locked, and Shied. We also have included label color filters for those of us who like to keep our layers organized by color labels. Layer Sitter will grab your custom color names, not just the defaults. You can also use multiple filters at once if you need to. Quick Parents make it easy to quickly parent selected layers to commonly used parent layers. Layer Sitter can remember up to five Quick Parents in unlimited compositions. Before you start using Quick Parents, you'll need to click the Load Comp button. If you don't, Layer Sitter will remind you. To add a Quick Parent, simply select a layer and hit the plus sign. To remove a Quick Parent, click the minus sign. Removing a quick parent from Layer Sitter does not disrupt existing parenting chains. Once you've established quick parents, you can quickly select them in the timeline by clicking the S button. This comes in handy when dealing with a composition that has many layers. Now we're ready to use our quick parents. Select any layers that you want to parent to a quick parent and click the Pick Whip icon. Just like the Parent Selected Layers menu, if a parent structure already exists, it won't be affected. However, if you do need to, hold the Alt button and click the Pick Whip icon to overwrite the parent of any selected layers with that quick parent. Another great feature of Layer Sitter is the ability to quickly traverse up and down your parenting chains. With any layer selected, click Select Children or Select Parent. This will allow you to move quickly throughout your parenting structure without scrolling and manually looking for layers. By all clicking either button, Layer Sitter will also maintain your current selection. Using existing layers is great, but you can also create new null layers with Layer Sitter. Alt click on the Parent Selected Layers button to open a new pop-up and create a new null layer. Selected layers will automatically be parented to it and you'll be given additional options. Name the new null layer. Pick whether the null is directly above your selected layers or at the top of the timeline. And choose if the null is centered to your selection or to your composition. Layer Sitter will remember all of these options every time you launch it. And that's it. Layer Sitter will definitely help you save a ton of time with less scrolling and pick whipping. I hope you enjoyed our walkthrough. Thanks.